told you lately. Alexa, stop. I don't like that version. Oh, it stopped. Hi, <laughs> everybody. Come on in. I wanted to open this with Van Morrison's version of Have I Told You Lately. But when I tell her to play it, she doesn't play that one. She plays a Rod Stewart one and a, and Michael Bublé. I wonder how that works. Come on in. I'm sitting at a desk. I haven't done that for a long time because I got a desk in my office. Oh, my God, you guys. Talk about re-entry anxiety. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Come on in. Oh, I miss you, too. Always intuitive. I miss all you guys. But... I am officially vaxxed. I said it last week and I saw my first, I've been seeing a few clients that have been seeing me over the years in my office here in the desert, but I saw my first uh, new person here today. And I, had, I have to be honest, I had a little anxiety about it, but she was a nurse and she double vaxxed. <laughs> so we sat safe distance and it was great, but I was nervous about it. It's like a little bit like we can talk about that if you want. You ask me questions, but it's just like, you're, I'm going to take questions from you. I was cleaning up because I got a desk. Oh my God, this desk has history. We found it. The greatest thing about the desert is they have these resale shops with shit tons of furniture. Like you can't imagine and they're not, it's not very pricey because let's face it, the desert is like the last stop before the cemetery for a lot of people, even though it's gotten younger during the pandemic so what happens somebody passes and then their family takes the furniture to the resale shop so I'm talking to you from you guys are so young you probably won't even know who I'm gonna say right now hi Paula um Red Skelton look up Red Skelton he's like one of my favorite comedians so I'm doing this I'm gonna be doing my lives now on Red Skelton's desk he passed away many years ago but his widow took his stuff into the shop and we we got it. I'm so like, oh my God, no, I'm under his desk. So it adds to the funny. Thank you. I, I had a steroid shot last week and it really perked me up. I think we all need steroid shots. I don't know, it did something for me. And then I had a physical therapy session today and that was amazing. I've never done physical therapy. I mean, not the kind that you pay for. But okay, let me take questions. You know, you totally know. Yeah, that's Red Skelton. Yeah. So then I was cleaning up the desk and I found tarot cards that sometimes I put away when I retire them and I had this little pink pouch and I found a deck that I'd retired because it was so worn out. Thank you. These are Chan Lu. This is made by this incredible person who I don't know if she's going to join today, but you can find her in my feed. She does handmade jewelry and, um, oh gosh, I can never think it's divine something, but you can look you know, if you DM me, I'll give you her name. So her name is Araceli, Araceli Silva, but her, anyway, and she sells on Etsy and stuff. Ooh, <gasps> Seeking Salt, I love you. What can I do to rebuild my career this month? <laughs> okay, I'm going to start there because that's the first question that I noticed. And, then, <laughs> and so these are the two cards that I picked up for you because they fell out of the deck for you, Seeking Salt. <laughs> the first one is the Chariot. You want to rebuild your career this month. I want to get it moving. I want to get it moving. <laughs> What's your strength? You know, those cards came out. It's interesting. I'm shovel. I'm shoveling. <gasps> are you, what are you shoveling? Who's shoveling here? Who is shoveling? Um, <laughs> when I saw this, oh, thank you for coming in to watch me. I don't know who Tony Stockwell is, but thank you. Welcome. Um, the, that's seven and eight, July, August. What can you do to rebuild your career? Take things in order seeking salt. Don't go out of order. Do things in order. So when I think about you and what you could do, it's your strength and your strength is around traveling. You need to go take a trip and research what you want to do. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's my answer to that. I'm going to put these back in the deck. You're so strong and don't go alone though. I know you're strong, but don't go alone. Take a little kitty cat or a little doggy with you for a road trip. Oh, where did that come from? Oh, that came from Phineas the Frenchie. Check out Phineas the Frenchie, the cutest French dog you've ever seen in your life. Spirits are talking. What do I need to know about love? What do I need to know about love? I'm, you know, I'm looking at my candle when I say that. I was like, what's the name of this candle? Prosecco. You need, <laughs> I don't even know what, pros I know Prosecco is some kind of drink, but honestly, I eat. I don't drink. Like, why waste my calories on alcohol when I can... <gasps> Oh my God, I have to talk to you about these killer chocolate chip cookies that if somebody's here, 
<laughs> I don't do sugar, but I did a little taste of this. They're, they're homemade. Um, okay, what do I need? You need to drink some Prosecco, whatever that, whatever the hell that is, because there's the candle that's appeared on Red Skelton's desk. And that means loosen up. Prosecco Rose, you need some romance. What you need to know about love is to relax. Don't try to control anything. Just kind of relax. Just relax. That's all. Relax, and you're going to meet somebody. There's a lot of blue. I see blue clouds around outside, like pretty blue clouds, not like rain clouds, like pretty blue clouds. And then I'm hearing, gosh, I don't know why I'm hearing this. I'm hearing something like, do you live in California or something up in California? But I'm hearing this is like in Arizona or something like that in Arizona. So I love, okay. You need romance, Layla H. Adler. Oh, Layla Adler. Oh, hi, how are you? Um, you well, let's talk about romance. Where is Layla gonna find romance? Where is she gonna find romance? This is it. The high priestess, you really do need romance. When you see a high priestess, it's like, damn, I'm not getting any. <laughs> okay, well, you don't have to, uh, you know, but you know what I mean. Where are you gonna find it? Take a chance, take a chance on love. Take a chance, take a chance on love. Who does that song? <gasps> Who does that? Take a chance, take a chance. Isn't that Abba, 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 Abba? Isn't that like Israel? <gasps> Go to like Israel or something like that. Like, cause Abba means father. <gasps> Wait, ooh, 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 ooh. Abba means father in Hebrew, if I'm not mistaken from my days back in Hebrew school, like a million years ago. So father issues. Do we have father issues? Do we need a father figure? No. We need an equal. But that's where that just took me. Take a trip to Israel. If you can't afford to go to Israel, just walk into a synagogue and just go, oh. But it's not everybody in Israel is prayerful. But that's what I think. I think you're going to meet somebody solid. That's what I think. I really do. I do. I think you're fabulous. Um, Karen Smiley. Now remember, this isn't the same as like getting a reading with me, kind of, sort of. <laughs> My readings are a lot of fun, but I like to have fun here. This is entertainment night. Um, let me see. Hi, Shirley. When will I move out of my mom's house? Says Karen Smiley. When will, do you want a time and date for that? <laughs> on the 25th. It's on the 25th. The 25th of April. The Ides plus 10 of April. But let's see what the cards say. <laughs> oh, there's an 11. Look for angel numbers. 11. Actually, that makes me think it could be longer than that. But get your ducks in a row and aim for the 25th. If not the 25th of April, the 25th of May. Like, it's up to you, right? Um, Hilda Breyer, may you pull a card for my six-week-old daughter. I love babies. Oh, I just love She's so cute. I'm going to pull a card for her. I'm going to show you. Do you want me to show you who she is? Like what her path is in life? I should go to a different deck here. I found this deck in, in that purple pack too. And I don't know who made this. You guys will know. It's like a Doreen Virtue deck or something like that. What should we look look at Hilda Breyer's six week old daughter? The chariot. Oh, she's leaving. Oh, look how pretty. She's pretty. She's beautiful. And she's leaving home the minute she can. You better do a good job because this girl's a traveler. Maybe she came out easy too, but she's like traveling. She's like, oh, I'm not staying around here. I'm going. And you know what? It looks like she might take you with her. Not really. It looks like she's very independent and she's going to go. And that's what she should do. But it makes me cry because my kids are grown and I want, they were here this weekend and I was crying, but I finally got to hug them, which was amazing. I got to hug them after a year. Um, hi, Shirley. Is quitting my job a good move for me, says Callie Bread Georgia Peach. Is quitting my job a good move for me? It's a good, why wouldn't that be a good move for you? It must have taken a lot of courage for you to do that. Absolutely, it was a good move for you. Now you've got fresh ideas. Take, I, this is what I say. This is my, my advice. I always say don't quit your day job while you're looking for something else if that, unless you can afford to, if you can really afford to, unless it's like really getting you down. It's like if this pays the bills, do something on the side. I call it the side garden. This is absolutely a great idea for you. I think you'll be employed soon. I just feel it. Like, you know, so, if, but take a moment if you can to really figure out what, you don't have to figure out your life path now. You just have to figure out your week path. Like, ooh, what are you, ooh, build on the things that you think you're not so good at. See the weak path. Ooh, I like that. 
Build the things you need to strengthen. I like that a lot. This question is too long, Hale, son. It's too long, I can't even, it's too much for me. Um, why does she, uh, why does she pushing everything away? That's another one of what? I don't know what that means. I would have taken that question if you guys would write it. Um, oh, spirits are talking, Colette Baron reads. It must, I think it's, yeah, it's Doreen Virtue or Colette Baron Reed. That's really great. Um, okay. <laughs> Paula Roser, will you pull a card for me? I'm very emotional today. I was very emotional today because I saw a brand new client, not a client that I've been seeing regularly, but a, somebody I'd never met with before in my office. It was very emotional. My client was full of emotion, but it was like all these feelings were going through me because it's that re-entry. It's the re-entry neurosis, right? Okay, this is why you're emotional, Paula. Let's go back to this Colette Baron Reed. I highly respect that woman and during virtue anybody that can design a deck and can, anybody who can get it done they got they have my they've got my support you've got my support did i tell you how much i love you guys did i tell you that have i told you lately this is why you're feeling oh look at this card fortune's wheel i want to turn on a light here but i can't get to it so i hope it's not too dark in here i'll change that for next week fortune's wheel so maybe you're feeling like that because when you think about a wheel of fortune it's like it can go any way right and you're running through the gamut of emotions and it's really good i want you to not paula i want you to not go like this i don't want to feel emotions i think it's great to feel emotions and i think that if we we can all come in here and we can cry with you because maybe there's really nothing actual to cry about but you're feeling everything in the world you're feeling it you're processing you're processing something that's so important for you and you're figuring out in your life who's important and who's not what's toxic and what's not and you're letting go and just let in divesting all of these things and building new energy it's just like that just let, let it go, let it go, let it go. And let yourself feel things and let yourself be sad because it's a wheel and it's gonna turn and tomorrow, you're gonna wake up singing. Ooh, this is the physical therapist gave me this exercise for my shoulder where you go like this and you pinch your back like that. And you go like that and it opens the lungs so that you wake up tomorrow. I want you to program a radio or whatever you got, your life, whatever, program it to waking up to oh, my favorite. Eliades Ochoa, Sibone, S-I-B-O-N-E-Y. I'll have her play it at the end. It's so beautiful. And you wake up and you just move like that. Just get moving. You're beautiful. Okay, so let me go down here to a question now. Um, okay. Oh, any message from your cat, Simone? Um, if you want, don't ask me questions about this relationship that you're in. Just be in it every day, one day after the next. But I like this relationship you're in because I just looked up the clock and it says 7-Eleven. And 7-Eleven means, am I going for a Slurpee or am I going to toss the dice, right? Because you want 7-Eleven on the table, but you also want to go get a Slurpee. So you want a person you can go to the 7-Eleven with or a person you can go to the 5G Ascension with. I love it, I like this person. That's what I think you should know. Stay in it, stay in the present. <gasps> Messages from Simone's cat. Let's see if we get a message from Simone's cat. Yes, let's get a message from your cat, from your cat. I wanna call her Fifi. Did she have like a, a dog's name? <laughs> this is a message. <gasps> Ooh, the magician, look at that. So this cat was kind of, creative, flirty. This cat is coming back. That's a magic cat. That's like Merlin. That's like a magical cat. You had a magical cat. Her message is fresh magic. What's a fresh magic in your life? Are you holding on to her toys or something like that? Because I'm seeing a toy that has some of the fuzz coming off of it. You know, like when you have a fuzz ball and like she, it's like she pulled at it. Look for, look under your furniture. You're going to find something that she left for you there. And I'm not saying something that should have been in the kitty litter box and it ended up under your couch, but she left a little toy for you or something under the couch. But you're going to get a new cat. You're getting a new cat. And I don't know that it's going to be a girl cat. It could be a boy cat that's going to come your way. That's what I think. And you should call it Shirley after me. No, you should call it Merlin because it's a magician. Okay. Or who's the other magician? David. David Cop. No, no, we don't want to name it David. Merlin. I heard I know stuff about him. Okay. Not that he's a bad person, I'm sure. But <laughs> message from your dad, Alan Cohn Scott. I love that. I love channeling. I love channeling energy. Okay. 
This is a message from your dad. You heard me going like this because I looked over at my little crystal plate that one of my clients brought me these beautiful green crystals. I see the color green around your dad. It makes me think about breathing. Take a deep breath like that. He says, ooh, take a deep breath. That shut up backwards on that, right? Your dad says, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Breathe. Do the breathing stuff. I don't know if I don't know if he had lung issues or not, but I just feel like breathing and moving. So that's what I think. And he's lovely. He's absolutely in spirit. It's lovely. You know, what? I told you my brother passed away a few weeks ago, and I'm still trying to communicate. And he's coming in bits and pieces. Like he's showing. My brother is showing up at different ages in his life. Like when he's a kid, teenager, in his 20s, he's showing me different stages. So I think he's reviewing his life. That makes sense. Like, does that make sense? Okay, Maki Naka, how are you? Oh, I love that girl so much. Okay, let's go back to it. Oh, there's questions in here. I didn't even see these questions in here. Um, hey, Cassie Herbert, do you see marriage and children for me? Well, the answer is the question is wait, I have to turn on a light, but I don't want to go because my show is almost over. Do you see marriage? Do you see marriage and children for you? Because if you see it, then I'll see it. And does she see it? Does Cassie see it? Transformation. Yes, we see it. Yes. There's a little girl inside you. That's what I see in that card. And I see that you need that. And I don't say you need to. I, I said I, you need to, but you want to work on yourself. Embrace working on yourself and transforming yourself, Cassie. Transforming yourself into the best Cassie you can be in this lifetime. And then think about it like this. If you're searching for something, well, you might, we've been here before. And what if in your past life you were married four times and had 15 kids? I mean, what if? You could be from Utah or wherever. I'm not, I'm not putting down Utah or wherever that is or whatever. I just said that because that just what came through in your energy. So this lifetime you might have decided to take off. But if you work, you know, take the lifetime off from relationship. Just work on yourself. But this transformation card is fantastic. I'm going to start using this deck in my practice. Um, and I would say, yes, you're going to. And I see a little girl there. So I just want to see, is that little girl the little child inside you? And then she's going to start anew. So yes. Anyway, that's it. That's my time. What song did I say I was going to play? Oh, Alexa. Watch this. Play Siboni by Eliades Ochoa. Oh my God, I, you know what? It doesn't understand me. Alexa, stop. You guys, you've heard, you've heard of the Buena Vista Social Club. He was part of it. Anyway, I don't know what just happened. Alexa, stop. What a pain in the ass. It's listening to us all the time. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching tonight. This is going to be on IGTV and then also on YouTube. And I'm going to do a YouTube live show. I decided because I have a lot of clients asking for it. I just don't know. You know, it's trying to find time and with my energy and stuff like that. But you can book a session with me. The link's in my bio. And you can talk to me all the time. And I will be back here next Monday at 7 p.m. for 15 minutes taking your questions. Love you. Have a wonderful, fabulous week. And don't forget to err uh, your back. Like, go, uh, and do this. This is good too. Relax the shoulders. Relax. Relax. Bye. Love you.